Hey there, here's another tutorial of Game Maker. This time the fifth spider one. Okay, so as you can see today I'll show you how to make a human spider move around as you can see in this footage right here. By the way, this is the Mark Overmars maze tutorial. You can find in Yo games. Since so we have a platform, it's gonna work only a little different. Since it's up down, it's only gonna be left to right. So now on to what we have. Okay, so over human sprite, we're going to need to make two new sprites. One for the left, one for right. Here I'm making the left one. Put, put an L so that... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the width of the sprite in half. So, to do this, we're going to count the width and height of the head and body. So, after you count it out, it should come out with this. As you can see, the head is 13, and the body is 32. So we're going to need to cut the widths in half. So once you've done that, it should come out like this. So the head will become 6, and the body will become 16. So sample all the colors, and make a little dot in the corner, so that you'll be able to have them back, since we're going to delete this whole picture pretty much. So you can take it all away with using the box tool. Now we're going to make the body. So the top left corner for our body is 16 dots from the top right corner and 12 dots down. So count that. Then count 12 dots down. And we should have the top left corner of the, our body sprite. To make a circle. With the light red outline and dark blue center. Now we can make the head down. No. That's 11 dots from the top right corner. And then make the circle in the same way we made the body circle. Then we make the eyes. So for the eyes, first you need to see how we made the eyes the last time. And then we're going to put them in here. Since we're looking at it from the side, we can, we'll only be able to see one eye. So this guy has one eye on each side. Let's make him, other than the fact that there's now one eye, make him exactly the same. And of course, we don't want those dots there, so take them away. That was a little bit of a clutch here, so. Yeah. Now, you can duplicate that sprite, or that sub-image, and the transform, and mirror horizontal. Now you have one for, and we can turn the other direction. Now it's like the whole image. You can use Control C or the copy function. Create a new sprite. Call this SPR Human R. I prefer the capitalize them, but you can keep it lowercase if you like. And Control V or the function they have. And we'll have that mirrored sprite. And then you can delete it from the this one.
and that's how you make these sprites. Now the programmer will be able to program in a way that whenever you're going leftwards, it will have the left sprite, and whenever you're going to the right, it'll put it on the right sprite. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.